before uh, 3 a.m. this morning, uh, firefighters received a report of uh, two buildings on fire, uh, 114, 118 Bartlett Street. Those are the two uh, directly behind you that were fully involved in the rear of the building. Uh, firefighters, you know, work quickly from uh, all vantage points to, uh, you know, keep it in check, uh, keep it in those two buildings. With all three of the incidents that we've experienced over the past week, the fires have uh, basically uh, involved the exterior of the building and burned in. Uh, you know, what, we, what we're used to experiencing, the fires burning from the inside out, and, uh, you know, whether it be in an apartment, you know, for instance, a kitchen fire or a bedroom fire, we're able to mount an interior attack, and you know, our focus is on ventilation, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, primary search, uh, those types of things. But in, in this case, and, and as you know, the two previous fires, they were all uh, from the exterior burning in, and uh, once they get into the attic areas, they've spread very quickly, uh, and you know, it, it's. Uh, causes a great deal of damage and uh, it's a much more a defensive operation than it is offensive. We saw smoke from our window so we came down to find out where it was. We didn't want it to be close to our house. And we came down, we saw the fire, we were just standing there and we saw the police officer had arrested somebody, taken somebody into custody, had another cop taken into the custody. Wow. Emptied his pocket out, I guess he was seen running from the scene. We're scared to crapless actually. <laughs> we're looking to move, my daughter doesn't want to come home too close to home for her. She's been staying with my sister because she just doesn't want to come home because she's afraid that if it happens again, it might be us again. And I'm actually grateful my sister kept her last night because my daughter bus stops right there and she wouldn't have been able to go to school and see all this stuff. And it's just, she's emotional already about it. She's already having night terrors and she's only 10, turning 10 and she doesn't. We're all very tired. We've had some, uh, you know, a little bit of time uh, in between each of them to recover somewhat. Uh, you know, our, all of our equipment has been in service. It's been functional. Uh, we've had time to clean up and get ready for the next fire, uh, like we always do. We'll do the same thing today. We'll work all day getting our equipment cleaned up, uh, making sure our engines uh, and our ladders are functional. This is too much for us. It's too close to home, and too many people are going to hurt.